This week on Our Football, the Scarlet Knights head to the Midwest to take on the Badgers of Wisconsin. We catch up with former Rutgers great Mohamed Sanu. We got a special homemade corn pancakes, you know. <laughs> we got a cinnamon a little bit in it. She got a little work that she do with it. Can't tell you all the ingredients because everybody start playing like me and they can't have that. We meet head football athletic trainer Dave McCune and the players share some heartwarming stories about family just in time for the holiday season. So grab your rain gear and a cup of coffee because our football is hot and ready to roll. Every day is a battle. A battle we embrace. A fight that we will win. A future that we are ready for. Every player is a dreamer, a believer, a leader. Our coach, a true teacher, true mentor, true friend. The stronger family won tonight. Why did I choose this special place? Because it is home, it is on the rise, it is family, it is the definition of hard work. Rutgers is about momentum. It's gonna be exciting. You let him pick the wrong day. You play Rutgers football. Who will we become? What will we do after we graduate? Whatever we want to do, we will be ready for any field. Football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Heavy air and blood red sun, this night has just begun. There is a definite electricity in the air tonight in Piscataway. Ready for the road. As usual, Rutgers travels in class, united with one singular purpose, to grab a Big Ten victory. 30,000 feet above is a great place for solitude and focus. When the Scarlet Knights landed in Wisconsin, they were greeted by raindrops, but their goal was to rain on the Badgers parade at Camp Randall Stadium in Madison. Locked in and focus. Wake up, man! Wake up, man! It's the beautiful day to be alive, man! Let's go! Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Rain continuing to fall in Madison, Wisconsin as we get closer to kickoff. Rutgers and the Badgers meeting in Madison for the first time. The head coach is meeting for the first time as well. Through the Midwestern downpour, Rutgers tried to establish a ground game in the first quarter, and they did, going 55 yards in 13 plays, with Josh Hicks accepting the role as workhorse. The game plan proved successful, with the result, a short field goal by Kyle Federico. The Scarlet Knights getting on the scoreboard in hostile territory. Stavi takes a big hit again as he airs it down the sideline. The pass is incomplete. And that pop came from Julian Pinnix Odrick. The Scarlet Knights defense showed their grit, putting pressure on the Badgers quarterback. And young defensive back LaSawn Austin made a spectacular play, turning an interception 
into six points. Third and three from midfield. Stopping to the air, and it's intercepted. Picked off and headed to the other end of the field. And taking it all the way in for the touchdown is Blesson Austin. It wasn't his primary, and really he threw that a little bit under, not pressure, but panic. The pick six for the true freshman. They're young players. You know, there's a lot of freshmen running around that secondary, and, and it's exciting to see them make plays at times, and, and I really believe over time they'll be better for the experiences that, are, that they're getting right now. No time to look back for Coach Kyle Flood and his staff. Time to embrace the task at hand. We go back to work. You know, we go back to work. And we watch the film, we make the corrections, and then we look at next week's team. You know, we don't, we don't play these teams more than once. You know, now we got to put our eyes forward and, and get ready for next week. From the end down to play like who? Play like who? Run like who? Who 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 we have four games left. Coach said it's our last third of the season, so um, we just have to go out and give it everything we got. We want that, that fifth game, that bowl game, so um, that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for the seniors, too. We're a family, so we're always going to stick together. You know, we just got to get into the film rooms, watch the film, you know, see where we, did, where we went wrong, you know, and make the corrections. That's what family means, you know. No matter what the situation is, you know, you stick with your brother. You know, we've got a lot of improving left to do. We've got a third of our season left. You know, two-thirds done, one-third guaranteed to us, and a lot of football left to play. Kyle, I know the focus is going on 1-0 each week, but during the last quarter of the season, does bowl eligibility come up, and what's the message? The only way we can do it effectively is to put our entire focus on being 1-0 this week against Michigan. Chris went to high school, right around the corner from where, where uh, Grammy and Popo live. All right, now we're here. We got to run. Here we go. Got to run. Okay, got to run. Let's do it. Good. Here we go. Third down. Williams put the ball down. 45 yard line right there. Here we go. Seeing practice and, and, and having those young guys, I see a lot of people willing to work. I see you get to learn a lot about someone by how they work and how they manipulate their craft. This is my favorite stretch. This is one of the few I could actually do. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Let's see if the quarterbacks can do this drill here. Get up, get up. I'm pouring. Are oh, you tight? Your teammates, the guys that you're with every day, and, you know, the, it's like, you know, brothers. Coaches that we have on this team are, are just great. You know, they're smart guys. They prepare guys who, who've moved on from Rutgers and have had, you know, great success. We had four four guys win a Super Bowl last year. So. It's a, a blessing. It's an opportunity. What do you say about Rutgers football? I would say I'm the best Rutgers football player on this team, and it's been an honor to train little pups like Tim, Logan, Duran. Uh, I just tell them follow me. You know, that just goes to show you know, what type of program we have here and how our coaches always prepare us for the next level, not just for football, but for with life. He seems like a good guy. He is a good guy. Yeah. We try and emulate how all of New Jersey is, and it's hard working 
get up and get ready for your day, grab your lunch bag, and go to work. We treat every game like a national championship. We're going to get one, but the work has to be put in, and that's what's next for this program. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Our football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. It feels like, it just feels like you can't be stopped. It feels like their energy is, is, is what's driving the team. And it just becomes fun. It just becomes, it just becomes fun at that point. You can do nothing but smile when you're on that field. And, uh, feel sorry for whoever's against you. But at the same time, you know, it's, I don't know if the fans understand how important they are to us and how, how pivotal their involvement in the game is. But hearing that, that's what you play the game for. This is uh, my young Prince uh, Muhammad Sanu Jr. It's just uh, the man and the next big thing. Everybody was tight, but uh, this is my best friend right here. Ain't that right, champ? Yeah, the players that come through our program, you know, they're ready for the NFL. They're the type of players that the NFL desires. Guys who know how to go to work every day. Guys who know how to prepare. Guys who know how to take care of their bodies. You know, those are all the little things that, that people don't see every day. Uh, there's a lot of talented football players, but the players that come from Rutgers, they're, they're battle ready for that NFL. A one-handed grab for a touchdown by Mohamed Sanu. An incredible catch by Sanu. Rutgers just helped me prepare just to be uh, a better person, a better human being. and. Uh, Developed me to become a, a really, really good football player and you know, help me get to where I'm at today. I remember when he was a freshman, we brought him in in January and he came in as a safety. He started making plays on defense. Uh, we felt like we needed more firepower on offense and we moved him over to receiver and the rest is history. Always high energy, always positive. Always bounced around the practice field. Loved the game of football. Loved it. Toward the end zone. Catch. Oh, did he get the feet down? Yes, he did. Sanu, eight catches, 101, and a touchdown. We tried every week to put Mo in a position where he could take the game over. We had a pretty extensive Wildcat package when he played for us. We lined him up in the backfield. We snapped him the ball. He had one of the better arms on the team. He probably would have been a pretty good quarterback if that's the route he decided to go. Either here comes Sanu. Winding up and going deep. And it was caught! But as a wide receiver, you know, when you break Larry Fitzgerald's record for receptions in a season, uh, there's no doubt you took some games over along the way. The first thing that made Mo so special was his personality. And he had a magnetic personality about him. People just wanted to be around him. As a football player, uh, he's almost part running back, part wide receiver. Uh, he's powerful and explosive like a running back is, but he's got great hands like all the great receivers do. And, and he's really worked at his trade to become a, a pure technician of the game. And he's exciting to watch now on Sundays, the, the football player that he's become. I'm Mohamed Sanu with the Cincinnati Bengals, and you're watching our football. Should we get the running backs? I think there's some bigger top fans, you know? Dave McCune's a, a special guy, and we're fortunate to have him. And I, I think our players realize that right away. Excellent. Back down. Good. Now live relax. He really does care about the players. 
Um, when it comes down to the brass tacks, he really tries to do everything he can for us. He's somebody who cares about every player in this program as if they were his own son. You know, he cares about us uh, just like he cares about uh, every single one on, uh, in this program. Make sure to water the guys up while they're out. Uh, he's had many players over the years stay at his house uh, post-operation, post-procedure, you know, whatever, whatever it would, whatever need be. Uh, he's available 24 hours a day. His phone is always on. Uh, and again, he treats every player in this program as if they were his son. Elbows to your side like this. Turn out far as you can. Excellent. Now hold it right here. One of the bonuses of having Dave on our staff is, you know, he, he's worked internationally uh, as a trainer. He's got tremendous relationships with, with all the head trainers in the NFL teams uh, that are in our region. We're surrounded by the Jets and the Giants and the Eagles, and, and Dave's got tremendous relationships, not just with the football teams in our area, but really every professional sports organization in the tri-state area. He always has the best interest of the players at hand. He cares about the program he wants to win. And I think that's one of the things that will take a program to the next level is that when you have guys in all facets uh, of, of the program that want to win. Guys like that are a key in, in programs like this. He does his job, he does it well, and he's a very valuable member to this program. Our football is brought to you by AmeriHealth New Jersey, the exclusive health insurance partner of Rutgers Athletics. For health insurance that pays, it's AmeriHealth New Jersey. Team atmosphere is great, you know, it's it's not even a team really, it's more family, you know, we wear our family bands on our wrist and that just symbolizes what we're about, you know, it means forget about me, I love you. It's great, you know, everybody have a good bond, you know, we joke around. Tough guy football, you don't belong down there. And Kai, you definitely don't belong out there. The guys, they love each other, you know, when we're on the field, you know, it's a battle, we go back and forth on offense and defense. Hey, watch this next play, touchdown, guaranteed. Watch the receivers go crazy too. Here we go, O! Let's go, oh. 51 go. is soft! Yeah. But when we're off the field, you know, it's a family, legit family. And, you know, that's one thing that most programs don't have. You know, just being around each other, going to each other's room, hanging out, cracking jokes with each other, having fun. Downtime always consists of either sleeping, Cracking jokes on somebody, video games. It's got to be relaxation, especially when you're not in football mode. Uh, it's stressful. We're on Snapchat right now. It's pretty popular on our team. You know, it's, it's a way for guys to to communicate Let me see. off the field with each other. <laughs> Steve Longa, he plays defense, not even offense. I remember it was Fourth July. I couldn't get home. We had one classmate. Steve did. Steve said, "Do you have anywhere to go for the fourth? I said, no, I mean, I'd probably just stay in my dorm, you know? There's nobody on campus. Probably wouldn't be anything fun to do. And Steve uh, said, you know, come with me, come back home, come to my place. I took him home, brought him around my family. He ate some of my food. Uh, he enjoyed it. I enjoyed being around my, my mom, my dad. He thought my dad was pretty funny, even though I didn't think he was. <laughs> uh, we got to go out at night, you know, I showed him around the area, around my friends. Uh, took him to a couple of my friends' houses. He, he, he had a really good time. Uh, and uh, his company was pretty uh, awesome, you know. I think that was the first time I had one of my teammates home for Fourth of July. You know, courage and stuff to do that for a guy like me. He's like, you know, I'm from California. I play quarterback, and Steve plays 
defense. He's a linebacker and he's from New Jersey, so I mean, it's really helped him be that type of leader and just like have me come over to his house and have uh, Fourth of July dinner with him and you know hang out and sit fireworks is really cool and you know for I'll ever remember that day you know. I've never been closer with uh, defensive players before in my life. Before I came here, just throughout academic classrooms and everything, you know, you get a good bond with a lot of players on the team. And I know I could call any one of the other 104 guys on the team, and I know they would pick up and answer and help me if I needed it. Um, for Easter, last, this last Easter, um, Chris Muller, you know, his family took half of the offensive line in for Easter, and you know, they had dinner. We had an Easter egg hunt. It's fun uh, watching. 10 full-grown men wake up on Sunday for an Easter egg hunt. And it was nice, you know, we even had uh, Patim Ajari come back, who graduated, but he still came back and made the two-hour drive from North Jersey to my house in Pennsylvania. And, you know, being with the Muller family, you know, they took us in and treated us just like family, and Chris was a big, uh, like a big brother to a lot of younger guys. So, you know, we, we all was together having fun, doing things that we love. Oh, yeah, it was a lot, a lot of food, you know. Miss Muller, you know, she really does a great job in the kitchen, too. There's a bunch of stories on this team of guys who, who live far that's, that's not able to get home for Thanksgiving or 4th of July barbecues, and they're constantly, you know, no one's ever left behind. Everyone always has a place to co go to and stay at and eat at, and that just truly shows the family atmosphere here. We're definitely uh, tighter than we were uh, all the years I've been here. You know, we hang out a lot together. We go out together. Uh, we take care of each other, you know, just advices or a ride to class, it goes a long way. So where, whenever I'm available to do something for my team or where, whenever they're available to do something for me, they never hesitate.